is a complex task that requires many skills to work in conjunction with each other to become a skilled reader. Let's check out some of the routines in an Orton-Gillingham class that help build some of these foundational reading skills, starting with phonological awareness, where students hear, segment, blend, and manipulate the individual sounds in words. Flash. Beautiful. Slight. Good, let's break it up even more. Beautiful. Some of these exercises may look like changing the first sound to make a new word. Let's check it out. Lump. Lump. Ad. Plump. Mm -hmm. Rowl. Rowl. Ad. Growl. Poon. Soon. Ad. Soon. What do you hear? Yes, there it is. And some of these exercises may even look like adding a sound in the middle of a word. Cash. Can it add er after k? Crash. Yeah. Say sigh. Sigh. Add after s. Spy. Good. Say few. Few. Add ul after f. Blue. Another exercise you may see in Orton Gillingham is called simultaneous oral spelling. The teacher dictates a word that students can spell based on their existing knowledge of phonics and spelling rules. And then, we ta type we it. first no, thing you say it back, back and, and then, then we sound it out. Sound it out, and then we write it. Write it. Write it. And as we're writing it, we say, 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 it. say it. We say the sounds again. By breaking up the word and the task, this knowledge becomes explicit and multisensory. Students hear, see, speak, and tap the sounds while connecting them with written letters and spelling patterns. This is splat. 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 Pause, I heard some missed consonants. Let's do it all together. Splat. Splat. Okay, you do it. Splat. Splat. You can always go back to your sounds if you're not sure if you have them all. What sound is the A making? Ah. Good. Do we need an E for an A sound? No. A final exercise is decoding. This is where students practice words they can read successfully and accurately. Some of these words are sounded out. Others are practiced as sight words. Because they are frequently used words in English, their spellings are irregular and don't follow the rules, or follow a rule that would be taught much later. So just focus on one card and do it three times, and then up in the air and say it all out yourself. Okay. Say those letter names. S A W S A N G E W Change. S A W W. You can. Yeah. Why? Okay. All right, Olivia's first word. What? Really? Okay. Now we have a break. Oh, that's pet. Nice. Raffy. I thought we're not. Yep, we're going around in a circle. So you next, which is? Oh, code. Nice job noticing that E and giving it a long vowel sound. I thought I got the Forest. The sound was huge. Yeah. Good. That one has a lot of consonants in it. And how many vowels? One. Just one. Is it? It is French. Good job. Is it a closed syllable close, or a silent? Close. It's, it's closed. Dog in a wig. Number two, Olivia. That's a funny I came to sprint on the track. Number three, Raffi. I like the smell of pine. Very Me nice. Too. Those were all read very fluently and accurately. Let's get ready to spell. Is with practice, students will achieve sight recognition, which is the ability to recognize and read decodable and irregular words automatically. Thank you for watching.